You guys got 35 seconds. You're on the clock. <laughs> back for Joseph. He'll get it back. Martinez walking in. It's an empty net and he scores. And the back area one. It's got behind the defense. Oh, it's in the net. Paid money to come see us play. I'd be pissed off too if I watched that performance tonight. He has Andrasic making the back post run. The curler to the head. And it's stopped by Teets up and the rebound is hammered home. You know, we're not going to give up without a fight. Johnny Russell just can't get enough. Oh my word! Mason Toy grabs the headlines in Hollywood. Let's talk about the nightcap, the game so many of us were wrong about, especially in the pregame show. Everyone except Adrian. And who proved us wrong? Mason Toy proved us so very wrong. I mean, this play right here, you know, he got out on the break, wasn't able to find the final touch, and he thought, oh, it's going to be that kind of night for the kid. But then this happens. First of all, that was nice to bring the ball down and spin away from Lee Wynn and then keep keep your run going, get into space. And guys, he's right footed. It does not matter. Well, that, that's the moment right here is the presence of mind to understand you're going away from goal, cut it across your body, just set it up here. And then the technique to be leaning one way and just open up your hips going across your body to curl it into the back post. <laughs> I love the celebration. Go ahead and dance. I mean, this one right here is just a heat check. <laughs> That's just when you're feeling. When you're already dancing, feeling you're feeling it. The left is already, that thing is curling. You know it's coming. Then you just pull up because Darwin was open a little bit on this one. But <laughs> nobody's complaining after this. He had a special night. He, he did. And then, you know, at this point, it, it was just a, a rear guard action from Minnesota United. Some big plays from Michael Parr, as you expect. Brent Kelman coming in. Happy fans. Well, maybe not that happy. They were and a happy LAFC, manager. But a happy Happy Minnesota United team. Great night for everybody. Great night for the traveling fans. But uh, it may be, uh, I think that result might have, uh, shall we say, changed one or two people's opinion of us going forward. What is that? You know, I didn't think anybody, there's a lot of doom and gloom. People saying that we were going to be this, that and the other. Well, I guess what? This group are going to give in and we're going to keep going and uh, playoffs are going to be there for us. Fantastic to see what you've done with the group as a whole, but in particular, you're number nine tonight. Mason Joy got his 10th goal in all competitions. How about those two finishes? Fantastic. You know, they're the sort of stuff that he used to do when he first got here. And we used to go crazy at him because he was shooting from 30 yards out. But, you know, he's, he's, he's as I've said to you many times, I'm a big believer you get out of life what you put in. And this kid's getting his rewards for everything he's doing at the moment. Can we find out what this is all about from Minnesota? <laughs> Kaylin! I'm sorry, Bruce. guys. I'm going to leave it to the pros. Some teammate. Sorry. <laughs> Minnesota, if you're watching, can you tell us what that's all about? Because we just love it so much. Can we, can we go back to that? Because I, I just really like you the You want to redo? Well, not the dance, but <laughs> but really toys play in this one. And I, I, Adrian, he says there that we've been talking to him about not shooting from so far out or whatever. I, I love that. That's what I like about his game is the confidence level, the ability to continue forward. And you, you do need to learn from your manager and I'm sure your players around you. But uh, we've talked about him with the men's national team, and so I know the, he's just 23 is coming. He's up. just been called up with the 23s, but when you see why there's a reason to be excited about him from the standpoint of, yes, he was able to keep the possession, but not just hold it up and allow other people come in, which we see a good number nine do, just mm -hmm. to be able to hold up the ball and try and relieve some pressure against an LAFC team. But he went one on four at that point, really sort of drove to the middle, continued it, then a little bit of greediness to get in behind, shows the ability to come through. But a, a striker's greediness, right? Yes. Like not, and we saw that later on in the game where he was, he was in 1v2 and he could have taken the shot, but he squared it for Molino for what should have been a tap and He should have had two goals and an assist in this one. He he made the right play. He made the right soccer play. Uh, and people you know, calling out the national team. They want to see him on the senior, senior we're gonna squad. See, well, we'll see him with the U23s mm -hmm. this coming weekend. And it's worth remembering, he only has about 1,000 professional minutes across all competitions so far. Yeah, but look at the state of the national team right now. I mean, it's almost all young players. Mm -hmm. The young uh, Josh Sargent had a nice goal today. Yep. But when you look at it, he's 6'3", 20 years old. He's Got he a great flies. return. He had, he had a couple of moments today where he good just runs in left behind. Guys in the he dust. picks his head up, finds the pass in the box, finishes with both feet. He's got good awareness, good movement around the box. I don't see why you wouldn't give this kid a look sooner than later. Well, I mean, it's it's not going to happen. This like I'm happy to see him with the U23s uh, in this camp this coming weekend. Uh, there are games coming up in October and November as well. It's a good bet he will be with the team in November, and at the very least.
in January. Well, yeah, and th this was one I wanted to watch him in because you're playing against LAFC, and we've seen nice moments maybe in the Open Cup and a few in MLS, but you go on the road and to a team that's 11-0-2 at home. Yes, no Carlos Vela, different goalkeeper, no, uh, no Tyler uh, at Tyler Miller. Miller in goal, sorry. And, and yeah, 76% of possession for LAFC. But you need someone on the break, a number nine, to find a special moment. And Toy was able to find and it. And it's, it's, it's not just like finding a special moment. This was such a gut check. And you, you heard Adrian Heath talk about it in the post game there, saying how people are picking them to, to you know, miss the playoffs and you know, so on and so forth. And it's like, well, yeah, because we, we looked at your schedule. And we looked at what happened in the Open Cup final, and there was nobody on the field who stood up and said, I'm taking us, I'm taking us home right here. No, like, no, nobody's been able to really do that consistently for Minnesota. And here you have a 20-year-old kid with, again, less than 1,000 professional minutes going on the road five days after losing a heartbreaking Open Cup final against what's maybe the best MLS team of all time and saying, we're not missing the playoffs. Like, that type of arrogance, that type of confidence in that situation, love it.